Hi everyone, this is Actin. In this video, I'm going to introduce you the new Shinkansen Barat train which is in operation from September 23rd in Japan. These are topics. Firstly, I will give an outline of the new Shinkansen. Next, I will briefly explain the service of the transportation between Hakata and Nagasaki so far, followed by changes brought by the new Shinkansen. The new Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen has been planned as a new route connecting Hakata and Nagasaki, but this time it will be partially in operation between Takeo Onsen and Nagasaki. In this section, there are three other stations Reshina Onsen, Shin Omura, and Isahaya. The maximum speed is 260 km per hour, enabling passengers to move this 70 km section in just 30 minutes. The train is composed of 6 cars without a green car, 3 cars for passengers with seat reservation, and 3 cars for passengers without seat reservation. Now the fastest train connecting Hakata and Nagasaki is the Limited Express Kamome, there are 22 kamome in each direction per day, and it takes 2 hours by these express trains. There are also a few kamome express trains between Hakata and Saga or Shizen Kashima according to the commutation demand. The Nagasaki line that the kamome run goes south from Hizen Yamaguchi for Isahaya along the intricate coastline created by volcanic eruptions. After Isahaya, the railway goes through mountains with linear tunnels and finally reaches Nagasaki. As Kamome, the 885 series trains with the Pendram device enabling the passage of curves at high speed and the 787 series trains are used. I am going straight to the point. The Limited Express Kamome is going to be abolished in line with the launch of the service of the Nishikyushu Shinkansen and the name Kamome is carried by the Shinkansen. The route will be also changed. Passengers heading for Nagasaki will take the Sasebo line, which branches from the Nagasaki line at Hizen Yamaguchi Station to get to Takeo Onsen Station, and then they will transfer to the Shinkansen. JL Kyushu had originally planned to develop a gauge-changeable train and offer the through service on both a conventional train line and Shinkansen without transfer, however, development was halted after serious problems were discovered. And finally, JL Kyushu decided to operate the limited express called Relay Kamome between Hakata and Takeo Onsen on a conventional train line and make passengers transfer to the Shinkansen there. This transfer at Takeo Onsen Station is door-to-door -door or face-to-face. -face. Passengers will transfer to the train on the other side of the same platform. The Relay Kamome and Shinkansen Kamome Super Express will be operated the same number as it has been so far, 22 trains in each direction per day, and shorten the travel time by approximately 30 minutes. One thing passengers should be careful of is the stops of the Shinkansen. There are three patterns of stops, stopping all stations, passing Reshina Onsen, and passing both Reshina Onsen and Shin Omura. So in cases of getting off at Reshina Onsen or Shin Omura, passengers must keep this in mind, because all the trains are called Kamome, despite their barry stops. Changing the way through between Hizen Yamaguchi and Nagasaki also causes local problems, especially commute. As for the section between Hizen Yamaguchi and Hizen Kashima, although 45 express trains were in service a day so far, those trains will be abolished. Instead of this, the JL Kyushu will offer the new limited express Kasasagi between Hakata and Hizen Kashima according to the commutation demand. Then, let's move on to the summary. The new Shinkansen shortens the travel time by 30 minutes. Passengers have to transfer at Takeo Onsen Station. And there are three patterns of stops. Finally, I will give some comments on these changes. What mainly concerned by the new Shinkansen service is transfer. 
this transfer is face to face, so JL Kyushu says it will take only three minutes to transfer, however. It will be a hassle for passengers with weak legs or with a lot of baggage, such as tourists. And it is noteworthy how the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen is in the future. The development of a gauge changeable train will be restarted and through service to the Shinkansen will be offered. Or, additional Shinkansen railway will be constructed between Shintosu and Takeo Onsen, resulting in the whole line opening of the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen. Anyway, it is undesirable for the current half-baked system to remain in place. Then, this video is over. This is the first time for me to make an explanatory video in English, so that uh, some parts may not be well explained. I will regularly post this kind of video, so your likes and subscribing to my channel will motivate me to make videos. Thank you for your watching.